Hi, and welcome to Winfield Street Coffee on 2nd Avenue. This is our kiosk. It's going to be a little bit different than our brick and mortar stores in Connecticut. So we're going to be offering hot coffee, our hot coffee by Crown and & Culture. And then we're going to do it over at ice as well. And then we're going to also offer nitro iced coffee, which has double the caffeine. And it's done by Rise, which is out of Stanford, Connecticut. We don't serve espresso at this location due to the fact that we don't have the water line in here. We cannot provide that. So, in regards to our coffee, we're bringing in five gallon water bottles that are delivered to us weekly um, that we will be hooking up to a pump that will hook up to a machine that will brew the coffee. Um, when you come in in the morning, you're going to have your pastry order here and ready. It's going to come in boxes like this or this. And you're going to double check that you have. Um, Day old pastries there, you put those out first, and then you're gonna put out your freshest. Next, you're gonna set up yourself for your rolls and your bagels, which will be part of the pastry order as well. You have a cutting board here, you're gonna have your big cutting knife, and you're gonna have your spreaders. Everything should be done neatly and cleanly after you set up in the morning. Looks something like this. You'll set out your pastries in a beautiful manner like this right here all spread out different know what's there these are going to be some cinnamon twists we have cinnamon rolls chocolate croissants blueberry and cranberry scones almond croissant cheese croissant and a plain butter croissant next up you're gonna plug in your coffee machine so after every night due to the fact that coffee machines have a lot of juice electricity going on here. Um, we should turn off our machine at night. So in the morning, the first thing you're going to do is turn on your pump. So that's the pump. It has a water line that goes down to the water, five gallons down here. And it's going to have a plug that plugs in right there. So that's the first thing you're going to plug in. Next, you're going to plug in your coffee machine, or actually turn on your coffee machine. So, there is a little button behind here on the right side. It's going to switch on and off. It'll be off when you come in. Can't see it. Where is it? Like behind? Where is it? Where is it? Here? Hopefully I can see that. So I can feel it. And there. Okay. Yeah, if you can't see it, you can feel it, you'll switch it on, you'll see this come on, it'll first say filling, and you'll hear the pump running water from here, it'll make a zzz noise, and then it will say heating next. You're not allowed to brew coffee, it will not let you until this says um, ready for brew, like this. And then you'll click a button, you'll click large if you're doing a hot brew of drip coffee, and you'll click medium if you're doing an ice brew of coffee. For the stores in New York, these coffee machines are going to be taking Here, uh, there's a woman. 360 grams of coffee. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Say that again. So for the weight measurement of our drip coffee, it's going to be 360 grams, whether it's a large or a medium. The difference between the medium and large, like I said, is large is going to be hot, and then the medium is going to be over ice. So you're going to have that more concentrated for the medium, and then you're going to dilute it with the ice to cool it down. Um, these are our filters, they're the large filters. And how we do a brew setting up is, grab my uh, FIFO, so first in, first out. My oldest beans first. And you're going to put it in a grinder, which is over here. This is our grinder machine. It's always going to be set to 14. It should not need to be changed unless someone is buying a bag of coffee and they want a certain type of uh, grinder. So the setting should always be 14 on the dial. Um, it should be preset for you and it should not need to be changed. 
change unless a customer is buying a bag of coffee, which we can offer to grind for them. So you'll take your already pre-weighed coffee beans, put in here, tap on. So the only reason you would change this setting ever is if a customer bought a bag of coffee, which we do offer bags of coffee, but not um, selling quite yet, because it's still just open. But um, once we do, you'll see on here the French press is 18 to 19. If they're doing espresso, it's one to four. But you can always ask your manager if you're unsure. Now, um, I've emptied the 360 grams of coffee in here. Because it's 360 grams, it's going to take two grinds to fill up the cup. You'll hear the burrs going through to grind the coffee beans. And as it quiets, you know that it's almost done. Yeah, got quiet. And one of the most important things to do when you are grinding the coffee is not to pour these grinds into the filter when it's already in this, in this uh, filter holder. Uh, because if you pour this in here and then it makes air, it'll go all in here and you're going to get grinds in your coffee and nobody wants them. Tap on the bottom. Let's go to clean up after your shift. So then you'll put this guy in there. And you'll set it up. And then I'm going to brew a large right now because I need more hot coffee. If I was going to do an iced coffee, I would have hit medium, let it run the full brew, and then empty that full brew into here and add two scoops of ice. That would be our iced coffee. Normally you'd want to prep it the day prior so that you're not pouring hot coffee that's been diluted into a cup of ice. But things happen when you go through iced coffee and if we get busier then we'll get a bigger container. Uh, one of the most important steps within this kiosk as well is going to be the water. Our oat milk and almond milk comes from Chalipa Farms. It's delivered by the same people that um, Give us our whole and half and half. So all the milk we offer is whole, half and half, oat milk and almond milk. That's it. No more no less. Um, oat milk comes in packs of six. Um, it's shelf stable, so it can be left out. But obviously, you don't want hot milk and hot coffee. And a little bit of cooling action. So as you refill. And empty, I'm going to restock as well. Don't mind me. It's ugly right now, but not far. Okay. Ice coffee's done. Hot coffee. Oh, most important part the water. So, um, what am I going to do about two brews in the morning? That's going to take one entire water bottle because it has water stored in there, and then it's going to refill the entire another bottle. So you need to be very careful um, keeping an eye on these water bottles um, to the fact that that pump will turn itself off and stop working if there is not water constantly supplied to it. If the pump's not working, you don't have coffee, and it takes between 30 and 45 minutes to reset the machine. You don't want to do that. So keeping an eye between running around that this is you know at this point right now we're good um you will use hot coffee not only just for coffee but you use it for here for teas for chai for matcha so it's really important as you see that you're busy you're keeping a next one here ready peel this off and not fully pull it off and even if you do by accident it pops right back on um this will get fully pulled out of here this is the top to cover it from any dust anything else. When you're going to change these out, it's okay. It's not fully empty. You don't have to completely wait if you're nervous that you're going to run out of water and you're busy. Up to the side. Pull this out. Put it all the way to the bottom. Is it at the bottom? 
That way you know that it's sucking water straight from the bottom. You don't have to worry about whether or not your machine is going to be full. And then you'll switch the cap. So I'll put this on the empty one. And I'll use this to refill that one afterwards. Just kind of using common sense problem solving skills that are necessary in your commercial. Um, just because we don't have that long supply. Um, all of your syrups or any coffees will be here. Vanilla, hazelnut, caramel, sugar free vanilla. We have a honey simple. We have caramel drizzle for our macchiato, caramel macchiato. We have simple syrup, which can be offered to guests um, when they get an ice drink or anything that they like. Um, Blends a little bit easier than the granulated sugar. And when we're serving, we're going to do our brief. Hi guys, how's it going? How's your day? What can I offer you? Um, place my order. It's a search bar. You can literally search up anything that you need to search. So, drip coffee is our house hot coffee. There's two sizes, milks, whatever extras is needed. They're gonna do our house iced coffee. It's gonna be the iced flash. Brew. And size, what size do you like? 16 or 24 ounces? Show the sizes. Oh, there. Okay. 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 And then same for the nitro. The nitro only comes iced. This is our espresso option because it is double the caffeine. The drip Here. will come in to talk. Pause for one second. Why don't you say something about the fact that we don't have espresso and you have to make it clear that it is nitro cold brew and it is different. Okay, go ahead. Hot drip size will be 12 ounces and 16 ounces. The ice drinks will be 16 ounces and 24 ounces. Now, people are going to come to you and they're going to ask you like, hey, can I get an espresso? Hey, can I get a latte? Can I get a milky? Can I get a uh -huh. An iced espresso, a cappuccino. Right now, we do not have the ability to offer those things. So, what you would say instead of is like, unfortunately, sorry, I don't have espresso down here. But I do have our drip coffee. And I can add any syrups to. I have our hot coffee. I have our iced coffee, and then I have our nitro. So the nitro will come here. It pours out super foamy. You can do a latte out of it. So we'll put something like this, whatever size we want. Ice always to the tippy top unless they ask otherwise. Milk of choice, times almonds. This is for the nitro latte. There. Halfway full. Yep. Halfway full. Four. Just for the second to fill up. Let's see. The regular latte look. And boom, done. Cap it. They want the flavor, you'd add it. Sugar, you'd add it. Top it, and they're on their way. 